visiting the hospital. Hello. Excuse me. May I know the directions to the pharmacy? Yes. The pharmacy is located in the next building. Turn around. Go straight down. Turn left at the end. And go straight down the corridor. There will be a large sign displaying pharmacy on it. The dispensary counter is just below the sign. Do you have a doctor's prescription? No. I don't have a doctor's prescription. Do I need one to obtain the medication? Yes. You will need a prescription to obtain the medication. Have you made an appointment yet? No. I have not. How do I make an appointment? Go down to the reception desk. And she can provide you with a number to book for advance appointments. Hello. May I make a GP appointment for next Wednesday at 2 p.m.? Let me check. Yes, I can book you in for an appointment with Dr. Smith. However, 2 p.m. is not available. Will 12 p.m. be fine with you? Yes. 12 p.m. is fine for me. What details do I need to provide? I thought I had to call to make the appointment myself. Yes. The normal procedure is to call and make the appointment. But since you are here, I can type it into the system for you. May I know your name and date of birth? My name is Justin Jones, born on the 1st of March 1990. My national insurance number should be in the system. Yes. Your name is in our system, and your appointment is booked for Wednesday, 12 p.m. with Dr. Smith. The waiting room is just down the corridor. Please be here at least 20 minutes before your appointment. Thank you very much for arranging my appointment. I really appreciate it. Hello. Is Justin Jones present to see Dr. Smith? Yes. I'm Justin Jones. Is it my turn to see Dr. Smith now? Yes. Justin. It is your turn. Please proceed to room 808 for your appointment. Hello Justin. I'm Dr. Smith. How may I help you today? Doctor. I've had difficulty breathing recently. Sometimes I am gasping for air. This started few days ago. Hmm. Have you consumed anything out of your normal diet? Or been around any strange smells? Perfumes? Flower pollen? Or eaten any types of nuts? I was at a family function and consumed some pastries which had walnuts on it. And I started feeling slightly breathless. My mother and brother could not take walnuts, so I consumed their share. According to your explanation, it seems your family members also have nut allergy symptoms, and due to that, the allergy that you are experiencing may be hereditary. We will run some blood tests to confirm my diagnosis. In the meantime, I will prescribe you an inhaler to use whenever you feel breathless. Please use it during emergencies and avoid all kinds of nuts. I'm afraid your diet will need to change. Justin, I will write you a prescription of inhalers and some asthma tablets to manage your condition. The nurse will draw some blood from you later for our lab tests. Is it a serious condition? Doctor, how long will it last? What kind of lifestyle should I have to manage my condition? It is not a serious condition, but it can be fatal when triggered. I am afraid it is a long-term illness. You need to completely remove any traces of nuts in your diet and have a stress-free lifestyle as it can trigger an asthma attack. Maintain a healthy weight and diet, regular exercise to strengthen your breathing stamina, and get enough quality sleep. Thank you very much, Dr. Smith. I will try my best to follow your medical advice. So after drawing my blood for lab tests, when will my next appointment be? I will arrange an appointment for next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Your blood test results should be ready by then. Is that convenient for you? 
Yes, that is perfect for me. Thank you so much for a prompt diagnosis. Doctor. See you next week. Hello Paul. Our appointment is not due till next week. Have you been watching your diet as we discussed? Esh. Not really. Dr. Smith. I have been binging on fast food and beers recently. Yesterday, I felt a bit of tightness of my chest. Hence that's why I decided to see you today. All right. I will have to book you in for an echocardiogram to monitor your heartbeats. And to do an MRI scan to check for any block arteries. You may have to spend overnight at the hospital for monitoring purposes. Hmm. Paul's CT scan shows a block artery. We will need to arrange for an operation procedure promptly. How is his echocardiogram result? His echocardiogram results show some irregularities with his heartbeat. Shall I schedule his operation for tomorrow morning and free your schedule for it? Yes. Please cancel my morning appointments and do inform his next of kin of his procedure tomorrow. His family needs to be kept informed. Hello Lucy. How can I help you today? How is your eczema skin rash healing? Did the antihistamines I prescribed you help? Yes. The antihistamines were very helpful. My skin rash has cleared up. Doctor. I have another issue. Recently I have been more thirsty and tired than usual. And I tend to pee more frequently, especially at night. Sometimes my vision is blurry and my breath smells sweet and fruity which is very odd. According to your explanation, these are symptoms of type 2 diabetes. Have you ever did an insulin blood test before? No. I haven't had an insulin test before. Oh dear, I must confess. I have been regularly eating cakes and pastries. Is this a serious condition and how long does it last? It is a manageable condition with healthy diet, like choosing lean meat, lots of fresh vegetables, and reducing fats, starches, and sugary foods can help you stay on track. Doing active exercises or sports are advised for losing weight. I used to help my grandfather do an insulin test, so I can do it on myself. Will you prescribe me any medication? Hmm. The fact that your grandfather was diabetic tells me that your diabetes symptoms may be hereditary in nature. Yes, I will prescribe you some medication tablets and would advise you to obtain an insulin glucose test kit. I will arrange for your next appointment in two weeks' time on Thursday. Is that convenient for you? Yes. Next two weeks on Thursday is fine with me. Thank you. Dr. Smith for your time. Much appreciated. Hello Jack. How can I help you today? I have a very bad stomach ache and have had diarrhea whole night. I think it is the seafood which I had yesterday. It sounds like food poisoning. You will stay at the AMP, E under observation, and given medication and electrolytes. I am calling the nurse now to admit you in. Hello Mary. How may I help you today? How was your sprained ankle before? Oh. My ankle is much better. Thank you. Currently. It seems I have difficulty urinating. And quite painful when I try. I also have a slight fever, dizzy. And have a lower backache. Hmm. Listening to your explanation. It seems you may have kidney stones. Do you drink water often? Do you regularly take salty food? Oh. Unfortunately. Yes I love salty foods and dislike drinking water. 
you will need to drink plenty of water to pass out the stones. Reduce your salt intake. I will prescribe you some anti-sickness medication and alpha blockers to ease the passing of the stones. If after three days the stones have not passed out, please return to see me. We may need to schedule surgery for it. Stethoscope. A medical instrument for listening to the action of someone's heart or breathing. Asthma inhalers are handheld, portable devices that deliver medication to your lungs. Medical bracelet is a small emblem or tag worn on a bracelet, neck chain, with important medical condition of the wearer that might require immediate attention. Any, a flat, padded table or stretcher with legs and wheels for transporting patients or bodies. Thermometer, an instrument used to measure body temperature. A defibrillator, is a device that gives a high-energy electric shock to the heart of someone who is in cardiac arrest. A blood pressure monitor, is a device used to measure blood pressure, composed of an inflatable cuff to collapse, and then release the artery under the cuff in a controlled manner. Oxygen mask, a mask placed over the nose and mouth and connected to a supply of oxygen. Intravenous therapy, is a medical technique that administers fluids, medications, and nutrients directly into a person's vein. Crutches, a stick with a piece that fits under or around the arm, which someone who is having difficulty walking leans on for support. Wheelchair, a chair fitted with wheels for use as a means of transport, by a person who is unable to walk. Blood glucose kit, is a device to measure the concentration of glucose in your blood. Syringe, a tube with a nozzle and piston or bulb for sucking in, and ejecting liquid in a thin stream, with a hollow needle for injecting or withdrawing fluids. Medical terminology, glossary, cardiac arrest, cardiac arrest occurs when the heart suddenly and unexpectedly stops pumping. Swelling, an enlargement of a part of the body, typically as a result of an accumulation fluid. General practitioner, GP, a doctor based in the community who treats patients with minor or major illnesses and refers those with serious conditions to a hospital. Chemist, pharmacist, a person who is professionally qualified to prepare and dispense medicinal drugs. X-ray, an X-ray is a quick and painless procedure, commonly used to produce images of inside of the body can be used to help detect a range of conditions. CAT scan, a computerized tomography, CT, scan uses X-rays, and a computer to create detailed images of the inside of the body. Hydrated, having absorbed enough water or other liquid. Dehydrated, not having the normal amount of water in your body. Anti-inflammatory, anti-inflammatory is the property of a substance, medication, or treatment that reduces inflammation or swelling. Skin rash. A rash is any area of irritated or swollen skin on your body. Insomnia. Trouble falling and or staying asleep. Cholera. A bacterial infection which spreads through contaminated food and water. Headaches. A common symptom that causes pain and discomfort in the head or neck region. Vomiting. The act of emptying the contents of the stomach through the mouth. Blood pressure. Blood pressure is the pressure of blood pushing against the walls of your arteries. Pulse. A rhythmical throbbing of the arteries as blood is propelled through them. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small, bean-shaped glands that play a crucial role in the immune system. Respiratory. The movement of air or dissolved gases into and out of the lungs. Eczema. A medical condition, in which patches of skin become rough and inflamed with blisters. Asthma, a lung disorder characterized by narrowing of the airways, the tubes which carry air into the lungs. Incision, a surgical cut made in skin or flesh. Benign, not life-threatening. Malignant, life-threatening. Temperature, the degree or intensity of heat present in the body. Wound. A damaged area of the body, such as a cut or hole in the skin or flesh.
Ibuprofen, paracetamol. It can provide relief from pain, inflammation, or fever. Antihistamines. Medicines often used to relieve symptoms of allergies. Sore throat. Pain or irritation in throat that can occur with or without swallowing. Coughing. Expel air from the lungs with a sudden sharp sound. Routine checkup. Medical examination which is performed for the purpose of general health monitoring. Annual checkup. An annual checkup visit, also called annual physical, is a preventive care visit focused on detecting health conditions before they appear. Hospital gown. A hospital gown is a short-sleeved, thigh-length garment worn by patients in hospital. Diarrhea. A condition in which feces are discharged from the bowels frequently and in a liquid form. Diagnosis. The identification of the nature of an illness or other problem by examination of the symptoms. Prognosis. The likely course of a medical condition. Paramedic. A person trained to give emergency medical care to people who are injured or ill, typically in a setting outside a hospital. NBSP. Healthcare professional, who is qualified and allowed by regulatory bodies to provide a healthcare service to a patient. A&E, accident emergency, room or department in a hospital, where people who have severe injuries or sudden illness are taken for emergency treatment. Autism, a lifelong developmental disability which affects how people communicate and interact with the world. Diagnosed, to distinguish or identify a disease, for example, by diagnosis. Echocardiogram, a test of the action of the heart, using ultrasound waves to produce a visual display, for the diagnosis or monitoring of heart disease. Typhoid, a serious disease spread through contaminated food and water, causing high fever, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Dysentery, an infectious disease that causes inflammation of the intestines, resulting in severe bloody diarrhea. Allergies. Conditions caused by the hypersensitivity of the immune system to typically harmless substances in the environment. Hereditary. Transmitted or capable of being transmitted genetically from parent to offspring. A hereditary disease. Prescription. An instruction written by a medical practitioner that authorizes a patient to be issued with a medicine or treatment. Consume. 8. Eaten. Appointment. An arrangement to meet someone at a particular time and place. Cholesterol. Too much, bad, cholesterol in a person's blood, which increases their risk of a heart attack or stroke. Vomiting. Involuntary. Forceful expulsion of the contents of one's stomach through the mouth, and sometimes the nose. Kidney stones. Kidney stones are usually found in the kidneys or in the ureter. The tube that connects the kidneys to your bladder. Extremely painful. Diabetes. A metabolic disorder. In which the body has high sugar levels for prolonged periods of time. Ointment. A smooth oily substance that is rubbed on the skin for medicinal purposes or as a cosmetic. Cancer. Cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth. With the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. Migraine. A severe throbbing pain, generally experienced on one side of the head. Gastrointestinal. Relating to the stomach and the intestines. Gasping. Catch one's breath with an open mouth, owing to pain or surprise. Manage my condition. Approaches which help you manage your own health. Stamina. Mental and physical ability to sustain an activity for a long period. Arteries. A vessel that carries blood high in oxygen content away from the heart, to the farthest reaches of the body. Informed. Showing knowledge of a subject or updated. Monitoring. A continuous checking. MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging. Scan. Provides precise details of your body parts, especially soft tissues, with the help of magnetic fields and radio waves. Blurry. Unable to see clear or sharp images. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe and like. Let us know what videos you like. New video every week.